Somehow we got off the trail coming up here and post hold most of the way up. Gave us pass. I'm just gonna stick with these guys and uh, hang out. No waiting in line today. Heading up, I guess I'm going to go up to Mount Washington today. I was going to go up Jackson and uh, Monroe and maybe over to Washington. And then down the trailhead I was going to use was closed. Um, I was told there was a cutover trail over to the Ammo Trail. I'm not going to brutalize the name, so I'll just call it the Ammo Trail. And then I connected with a couple other hikers. And they were just heading directly up to Washington. So I figured I'd just head, head up with them. Um, I don't really care where I go as long as I'm out hiking. I've never done Washington main summit. So I figured having a couple of hiking friends today would be a good thing. at the lake. I think it's a lake in the clouds hut. Somehow we got off the trail coming up here and post hold most of the way up. But we're up here. I think I'm going to split off of my hiking buddies and head over to Monroe and then meet them up to Washington and we're going to go down the Cog Railroad. So I think that's the game plan right now. Absolutely beautiful up here though. I thought it was going to be a crappy day and it's been awesome. Get on the way and get a good view. We got the Walt Mos Washington Summit, and down there the Lake of the C Lake of the Clouds cabin, and then right there is Monroe, which I decided not to go up after all. I decided to just stick with these guys and uh, go up Washington and enjoy the um, enjoy my time up there. I'm gonna spend like an hour. Up Here there, we go, so. all geared up, ready for the summit, which is still a mile away or so. Um, Washington behind me. The Lake of the Clouds cabin down that way. Monroe over there, which I decided not to go do. I'm just going to stick with these guys and uh, hang out. I usually hike alone, so over my son. So I figured I would uh, be friendly today. But anyways, onward, and we should be at the summit and shortly. <laughs> Gave us pass. <laughs> Mount Washington, one mile, Crawford's Path, point four. Davis. We've only gone 0.7 miles since we left the hut. <laughs> no, just seems like it was a lot further. So here we are. 
making some progress. There's a couple switchbacks and uh, quite a few intersections up here. So make sure you bring a map. And uh, got Monroe in the background. Just watch some people go up there in the summit. And oh geez, in the cabin behind me, but you probably can't see because I can't zoom. So anyways, we're gonna head up that way and catch up with them and get to the top. It's pretty uh, pretty mild, a little windy, but uh, probably, I'd guess around 20 degrees, maybe, with the wind chill. It's not too bad. Um, anyways, onward to the top. Right down there is actually where we started, but we went all the way up Monroe, um, right to the, I can't see if I'm pinpointing it, right to the cabin, and then came up, did a couple zigzags through here, and up where we are now, and then we're gonna go up that way and around, and from there, I'm not really sure yet. Yeah, I'll find out when we get there. So we got over in the background that ski slope, Bretton Woods, and right to the right in down in here somewhere is uh, Mount Washington uh, Hotel, and then we got the um, the Wiley Range would be in the background there somewhere, and um, boot spurs over that way. I started earlier. So oh, here we are at the summit of Mount Washington. Summit side. No waiting in line today. There's a couple people behind me, but not too many. Whew. What a hike. Great hike, actually. Lots of fun. Made it more fun than I was with someone. Now we're going to go around and get some views on the observation deck. I don't think they have my french fries ready. Everything's boarded up. So I think it's either going to be some tea, coffee, or ramen for hot food. Get these guys, so you get a video of these guys summoning when they get up here. So here we go, down the cog. But, uh, so far we think we've dropped more <laughs> vert in just a few minutes than we did <laughs> in an hour coming up the other side. Um, I think right over here is where the Lion's Head Trail comes up. I see some signs over there and a guy came up and said that's the way he came up from Crawford's Notch, I believe. Pinkham Notch. Sorry, no, we're, I can't with Crawford's. So we're gonna head down, keep going down. Um, too rocky for a sled today, but it would definitely go faster. So I'm gonna get some views and I'm gonna catch up with the other guys.
here we are. About, I guess about halfway down the cog. The snow has been extremely deep in some spots. Um, and then, of course, there's rocks underneath. So you hit dip, dipping down in the snow, and then all of a sudden you hit a rock and almost flip over frontwards. But we're uh, making some distance here. Quick. So it looks like I was right. This is called the halfway house. It's 4,500 feet. And according to that, the building is level, exactly level. I think this isn't the water station, though I thought it was. Look how deep the snow is in here. Hey everybody, Anthony checking in from the car. Something I always say I'm going to do and never do. I figured I would actually do it today. Um, so I'm back down on 302 in front of the Mount Washington uh, Resort and uh, heading home. It's about 2 o'clock. So the stat for today, we, we went up uh, the ammo trail um, to the lake in the clouds cabin or hut and uh, did not summit Monroe. I um, decided just to do Washington, so we went, I went over and did Washington, hung out up uh, the top for a bit, and then uh, we actually went down the Cog Railroad next, you know, next to the side of it, and uh, it ended up being about 7.3 miles, and uh, maximum altitude was 61.78, which is funny because I believe Washington's higher than that, but the GPS never accurate on that. And uh, the, let's see, moving time, five hours and 43 minutes. Stop time, one hour and 31 minutes. And total time was seven hours and 14 minutes. So all together, it was a great hike. I had, I've never been up to Washington and uh, I didn't intend on going up there today. I was gonna actually go to Monroe and Jackson and then the, weather was just so beautiful I figured it was a better day to do Washington so um, the, you know we were at the summit for a while and the wind was minimal and, you know probably I would say 20 degrees up there so anyways was great I met uh, yeah a couple guys from Connecticut um, right at the beginning of the trailhead actually um, David and Mike their brothers um, they came up from Connecticut to Hike the uh, hike Washington. They were staying at the hotel across the street from um, the Mount Washington Hotel, and uh, they're going to spend the night and then head back to Connecticut tomorrow. So uh, I met them like right at the kiosk at the beginning. Uh, you know, I just happened to stop to pee before I went in, came out of the woods, and there they were. And I got talking to them and ended up hiking with them all day. And they're the ones that they were heading to Washington and. I'm like, yeah, I'll go to Washington. So that's kind of how it worked. Um, everything came together. Had a great time. Glad I uh, hung out with them and uh, look forward to hiking with them again in the future. So everybody, have a good one.